right, so on this deuce, I have literally worked like 16 hours trying to get the carb tuned in, which is stupid. Normally it takes like an hour, a good hour to maybe two hours to tune a carb. Could not figure it out. It, it kept idling uncontrollably, like surging really bad. And with one Makuni, this was a brand new 34 from Go Power Sports, and these are true Makunis. They are authorized Makuni dealer. If they, if you buy a knockoff Makuni from them, it'll say it's a knockoff. Could not get it. It was either too rich, too lean. It was just crazy. I've never had this problem. Well, it turns out, um, and he obviously just didn't know, but when he put the Makuni adapter, if you look, this Makuni adapter from Performance 670, uh, when you get this in the kit, it comes with the bolts, the Makuni adapter, and a tiny little block off screw. So on this intake, there's four holes, or five holes for the original carb. You gotta block that middle one off so it don't have a vacuum leak, and you have two gaskets and one plenum spacer. You have a gasket, a plastic spacer, and then another gasket. You can see I had to put RTV because the guy also left the bottom gasket out. So it was, as soon as I sprayed brake cleaner around this, it would rev up like crazy. So it had a really bad vacuum leak. So once I fixed that, the thing idles perfect now. It drives me crazy because I spent so much time trying to, I just thought, I, I don't know what I thought. Days, it was literally. It was the most, I would work on it for an hour or two get so frustrated i go to like fix an old weed eater and stuff it was very very time consuming and i could have had it done in an hour if i'd have known that bad vacuum leak was there so we got that all fixed it runs awesome now now i need to de-jet it some it's got a 260 in it i'm going to put a 240 because that's a little bit too rich uh, maybe a 250 and start there but also this is the needle and seat this is a 1.5 millimeter needle and seat from a Makuni dealer in california um, this is what you have to run if you're running a pulse pump so basically the only difference from the stock one is it's real easy to tell. So the only thing different, this is the original one that comes in these Makunis. It's a three millimeter hole in the center where this one has a one and a half. So if you just swap this out, I think it's a $25 part, uh, you can run fuel pressure. If you don't do this, what it's gonna do is overflow the bowl. And since that hole is so big for gravity feed feeding, it's gonna push too much fuel. It's too much pressure and it can't, the needle can't stop it. So that's why you have to put, this is like made for snowmobiles and stuff. So. You have two little washers, and since this is new carb, these are perfectly fine to reuse. So there's our new needle and seat. Pop that in. Then this will go on. I believe it goes on like that, yes. Then we put our other little washer. You gotta be careful because that washer likes to fall off. And you do gotta remove the jet to get better access. And this is a 3 8 deep well I'm using on this. And also one thing to note on these Makunis are a little bit different. Most carbs you can just pop the, the little brass float thing off. But this one is kind of pressed in. Kind of, so I use a pick. Have my lovely assistant hold it for me and I knock it out with a pick. Now when I'm putting it back in basically take a set of pliers just making sure I got it lined up I don't know if I do yes I do okay so you can see we got it all the way seated can you see that I can't but I feel like it should be so to set your float height you just turn the carb upside down and you want this piece of brass to be um, parallel with this. So you want them the same. And this has a spring mechanism, but basically that's where it pushes the float all the way in. So now we can put, we had a 260 jet in there. I think I'm gonna put, you can tell this is an old carb. Um, look at all that crap coming off of it. But we're gonna put a brand new jet, make sure everything's clean. There's no trash in the bowl. We'll get it back on and we'll start it for you boys. I'm telling you, this has been the most aggravating thing. Well, the deuce is all done. So I had a little brain poot and had this backwards. I don't know what I was thinking, but the three to one ratio, I had it opposite. I had the long gear on this side, which was incorrect. So we actually swapped it to two to one, which feels a lot better. Have everything hooked up and I made a smaller tie rod for this side, if you can see. So basically this is solid rod that I welded a fine thread half inch bolts on each side. I might have said three eighths, but 
um, and then we left this one we're gonna paint this all up forgot to mention in the video the reason I had to do the smaller tie rod on the driver's side was because at full squat the tie rod was hitting the the rack so we did that solid tie rod to that reduced like from one inch to half inch in diameter so that cleared that problem out so back to the video it runs awesome we got the tack all hooked up these Vegas cart tacks are sweet they even got a rev limit so the tack turns red when you hit like 6500 rpms so it's pretty awesome so we got the carb all tuned out uh, that was a huge headache we talked about earlier so now i'm going to take it around the trail see how she performs that steering is a million times better and the brakes for sure
so we forgot to put the oil catch can on you can see how much oil a 670 will sling out because of uh it being on this swing arm now this isn't the ideal setup this is just like the standard go-kart well this is the better go-kart swing arm but that's why we don't like putting our engines on swing arms anymore just because it sloshes them around a lot uh, this carb seems to react to it really well the stock carbs are bad about the bowls sticking or the float in the bowl sticking i mean because this is bouncing around so violently it's it's hard for that float to react so but this carb seems to do awesome this is a 34 millimeter true mccuni from go power sports this is a must on one of these 670s well you can make more power with dual carbs but you don't have the space on this engine or this setup so i need to order the catch can to uh to prevent that from happening and because that's a lot i mean that's just a few laps and that's how much uh blow by we had which is pretty crazy and it's not blow by necessarily it's sloshing around this engine's being bounced and i don't like these wires just got soaked in it but uh we'll throw a catch can on here before he gets it for sure but uh, everything's performing awesome i moved the battery box up here it was in the passenger side side floorboard and i do have to uh put a foot rest in but all this will happen before he comes and uh, he is wanting a diff cover um skid plate under there so we'll be doing that as well this thing performs awesome she's mean uh just like i remembered it. it's probably even better now with that mccuni i mean it feels from what i can remember it feels like it's way better throttle response all right guys thank you so much for watching as always make sure to check the links in the video description where you can find every part we used back in the day on this deuce as well as the new parts the brakes perform awesome i don't know why my mind was working the way it was i've had a pretty stressful couple of weeks but i got the the pivot flipped around you know i need the three to one opposite the way i had it i don't know what i was thinking we actually did the same exact thing on randy's go-kart it's just one of those things uh you know had a brain toot so uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting us. Make sure, like I said, to use those links in the video description and tell them Redbeard sent you because those do help us continue to do videos. Um, we thank you so much for all your support over the years. We can't wait to get in the new garage. And uh, very soon, we're getting back on this buggy. We've been trying to get customer projects out of the way so I can work on my own project. And that is coming very soon. We've got a bunch of uh, personal projects, independent suspensions, ATV engines, all kind of awesome stuff. So stay tuned. We love you and God bless.